Hi everybody, I am jumping in on Facebook Live today to share a poem called The Other Shoe. And I just want to start out by saying, you know, I've shared some of these poems um, in talks that I've given and also on my Medium page. Um, this is my first time jumping directly on my profile and doing a live video. Um, it's something that I am both scared and excited about at the same time. Um, and I just wanted to share that the journey that I've been going through in writing and dancing um, in the past year has been so helpful for my own personal emotional processing. Um, and I, I was surprised in how much I was hearing from people that me sharing these personal stories um, and, and writings and dancing um, has really been helping other people. So that's why I continue to share them even when uh, sometimes I would much rather keep it private to myself. So I'm going to start out by reading The Other Shoe. Playing Mental Twister. I wind myself up like a propeller, tighter and tighter. The rubber band twisting, readying to snap back on itself, to unravel. Fight or flight, on guard. Body tensed, prepped to run at a moment's notice. The pit in my stomach. Heart racing in my chest. I pounce on my phone with each buzz, waiting in suspended animation. A million scenarios play out in my head, spiraling into the what-ifs. The hardest part is not knowing, holding the empty space open. Like a black hole, it sucks in a million thoughts that rush at me like waves, crashing over me, knocking me back. They keep me gasping, grasping at straws. Lines in my mind, pulling myself back to shore to see where the line of thought takes me. I end up back where I began, in the dark, blind, unsure what is happening. And instead of letting the darkness rest, I poke and prod, pushing into the emptiness with torches, trying to shed some light on the mystery around me. What did I do? What could I have done differently? Suddenly, a new thought occurs to me. What if this has nothing to do with me? The thought stops me in my tracks. It seems counterintuitive to what I've been doing, waiting for the other shoe to drop, wondering what I could have done to change the outcome. What if it's not my outcome to change? What if it's not about me at all? I need help holding this space. I'm not strong enough yet. I'm fighting the pull of waves, crashing back in on me. It's okay, I tell the little ones within. This is new and uncharted territory. I am here, we will traverse it together. Hi, Courtney. So that was a poem that I just wrote today. Um, and then when I write these postings for my Medium page, I usually do writing first and then I'll dance. Um, you'll see in today's dance video that I am physically feeling quite a bit better than I was last week. Um, so that's exciting. But when that happens, sometimes I tend to push myself um, and I need to, you know, find a balance between, uh, hey there, Courtney, you know, finding a balance between dancing in a way that works with where my body is physically right now and also pushing myself in terms of really allowing myself to express whatever it is that needs to be expressed in the moment. And sometimes I go a little bit farther than I should and realize afterwards that maybe physically I should have held back a little bit. Um, but that's always a learning and growing process. Um, so I'm sharing my Medium page with this post here and you can read this poem and see the video that I did today. Um, my Medium page is called Living Unedited and I hope you guys check it out. Okay, that's it for today and I will see you guys with the next post. Bye!